Hi, this is Don McAllister from Screencasts Online with another quick tip uh, about uh, Mac-related software, hardware, etc. I had an email last week and someone was asking how I actually do my backups, uh, backing up my Mac, uh, etc. And unfortunately, you know, I haven't actually got a, a recent episode on the website, so I'm going to have to redo an episode. But I thought what I would do in this short video is really lay down the basic minimum of what you must do to back up your Mac, and then I'll, I'll go into more detail in a future Screencast Online tutorial. The thing you need to do, you must have a backup. Even if you keep lots of your data in the cloud, you still need to have a physical backup of your Mac. And the best way to do that is to use Time Machine. And Time Machine is a technology that's built into OS X and allows you to make a full backup of your machine so you can rapidly restore it or you can recover documents that you store on your machine. It's very easy to set up. All you need to do is just buy a very, very simple, very inexpensive USB drive, plug it into your Mac and switch on Time Machine. Um, let me just quickly show you how to do that and then we know then at least you're protected at the base level and I'll follow up at a later date with more in-depth uh, backup strategies. So here I have my MacBook Pro uh, and I want to switch on uh, Time Machine backups to make sure that I've got all my documents and all my system files backed up as well. Uh, this is just a standard USB drive. Uh, this is actually a USB 3 drive and if you can uh, stretch to a USB 3 drive it's much faster, it will make your backups go much more quickly. Uh, if not, a standard USB 2 drive is fine. But I'm just going to go ahead and plug this into the MacBook Pro. Right, and as usual I have to correct the orientation. Right, so we're waiting for the day when we do get reversible USB uh, plugs, but here we go. Right, so because I plugged this drive into the machine before, it's not come up with a prompt, but the first time you plug your drive in, it will prompt you, do you want to use uh, the attached USB drive as a time machine uh, backup? So if it doesn't, uh, all you need to do is go into System Preferences, and this is where you can get access to the Time Machine control panel. Uh, you can either directly go to the icon down here at the bottom, or you can just type time in the search bar and select Time Machine. You'll see the various icons highlight as you highlight the list. Select Time Machine, and that takes us into the control panel. First thing you need to do is to select your backup disk. So we'll go to here. Uh, it's already seen some of the drives connected to this machine. It's also seeing drives on the local network as well. Uh, but the one I want is this one here, USB drive. We'll say Use Disk. OK, so that is now switched on, and you can see the next backup is going to go in 114, 112 seconds. Now, there are some options. If you want to exclude any, say, large files or folders, you can go into Options, and here you can access the Finder and uh, just go in and select any particular large folders that you don't want backing up. But I would say that as long as you have the space, back up pretty much everything. It just makes life easier if you do at any time need to restore from Time Machine backup. So that's setting up Time Machine. In a future episode, I'll have a look at how you can restore files from Time Machine. But just make sure you have a Time Machine backup. Uh, you'll feel a lot safer and it will save all your precious data. So I hope that gives you the incentive to go ahead and uh, get backed up using Time Machine. As I said in the introduction, I will follow through uh, later on with a more in-depth look at backup, looking at some of the different software applications you can use to back up your machine in different ways. But please do go ahead and get a Time Machine backup at the very least, and then you'll know you're protected. But uh, that's it for this particular clip. If you have any requests, any further questions that you'd like to ask me, contact me via the usual uh, ways, via Twitter, Facebook. Uh, check out the YouTube channel. Uh, visit screencastonline.com. Uh, respond to the newsletter. There's a weekly newsletter that goes out each week. Just go to screencastonline.com slash newsletter to sign up for that. Or email me at don at screencastonline, and we'll try and include uh, your requests in a future clip. But that's it for this week. I'll speak to you next time.